In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 booty workout secrets. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. As soon as they realize summer is approaching, everyone wants to get in shape. Shape up, on the other hand, means different things to different people. While most people concentrate on losing weight and polishing up their chest and arms, most girls and some boys like to sculpt the perfect derriere that will give them the confidence to parade about town in those tight new pants. You'll need some of these amazing but workouts if you want to properly target your glutes. First things first, structure your workouts. You can't just perform a few minutes of random exercise whenever the mood strikes you, or do 100 sloppy and short repetitions before calling it a day. Before you begin your workout, you should be aware of the following key concepts. For a certain body part, you'll need roughly three sets of two to three exercises. You'll need a tough weight. If you do more than 12 to 15 repetitions, you'll be focusing on endurance rather than muscular growth. To help muscles grow, you need progressive loading, which means raising the weight, increasing repetitions, adding more sets, undertaking a more difficult variation, or slowing down for each rep. You can never entirely isolate a muscle. It will always act in tandem with other muscles. You'll need matching legs to produce a truly gorgeous butt. We propose doing a full body workout three times a week, followed by another two to three sessions of cardio. Such as running, with a few of additional but exercises added at the end to fully tone up this body part. This will prevent you from developing muscular imbalances, which can make you look odd and have a negative impact on your health. Each training session, you can change up the workouts you choose. Do three sets with a hard weight, ideally something you can only manage for 10 to 12 repetitions, but if you can only use your body weight, go as high as 15 to 25 is okay. When executing the specified sets and reps become simple, switch to harder variations, add weight, increase repetitions, slow down or add one to two more sets. Number 10. Flutter Kicks. This is an excellent approach to target the abdominal and glutes, two body regions that every woman wishes to sculpt for the summer. Raise your legs off the ground to about 450 degrees while lying flat on your back. Then alternate pushing one up and lowering the other for as long as you can. These are some of the finest workouts for building a full, round, and firm buttock that turns heads, but don't forget about the rest of your body or cardio. There's no need to overdo it. With three weekly training sessions and a commitment to continuous improvement, you'll have all the correct curves in no time. Number 9. Full Bridge. Place your palms on the ground at either side of your head, fingers directed towards the shoulders, and then begin to elevate your entire body, pushing the feet and hands up as you push the hips up. It takes some wrist and shoulder mobility, as well as arm power, to do this, but it's really effective. It focuses on the glutes, legs, and shoulders, while also extending the abdomen and upper body. Hold the position for as long as you can, 30 to 60 seconds at first, but no more than 2 to 3 minutes because you don't want too much blood rushing into your head for long periods of time. Then slowly return to your original position and lie for another 60 to 90 seconds before getting up to allow the blood flow to gradually adjust. This is a wonderful finisher. And you may add some difficulty by raising one leg up. Number 8. Fire Hydrants. Begin in a kneeling posture, as for the rear leg lifts, and elevate one leg to the side while maintaining a 900-degree knee bend. Later you begin spinning from your hips, initially in little circles and then in large sweeping circles. For three sets, do this for as long as you can, perhaps 20 to 30 seconds at first. This is an excellent workout for opening up the hips, increasing mobility and developing the glutes as well as some of the smaller muscles in the legs that are difficult to target. Number 7. Cossack Lunges. These are a terrific way to increase flexibility and balance while also working your legs and buttocks. You move your weight to one side, stooping down on that leg while keeping the other straight, with legs roughly a couple of feet wider than shoulder width. 
Once you've reached the lowest position, point your straight legs toes upwards. Hold for a second, then place your foot back on the ground, elevate slightly, and shift your weight to the opposite side. On the other side, do the same thing, and then alternate. Number 6. Side Leg Lifts Lying on your side, you should use some extra padding on the floor, such as a thick folded up blanket or a couple of yoga mats, you raise one leg and slowly lower it. Switch to the other side once you've finished one side. This is an excellent exercise for targeting the minor leg muscles as well as the glutes. Number 5. Rear Leg Lifts Lift one leg off the floor and push the foot toward the ceiling while kneeling on your hands and kneeling with your arms straight. Return the leg to the starting position gently and steadily, then switch legs. These can be challenging at first, and you may have some cramping, so make sure you stretch correctly afterward. As you gain strength, you can add some ankle weights or compress a small dumbbell between your calf and hamstring to increase the challenge. Number 4. Glute Bridges Be prepared for some stiffness after this one because it truly works the glutes. Simply lie down on your back and raise your buttocks off the floor until only your feet, backs of shoulders, and head are contacting the floor, with your feet planted securely on the ground and knees pointed upwards. Make careful to lift your hips as high as possible and clench your glutes tightly at the peak. When you can straighten one leg and push off one leg at a time, the exercise becomes quite simple. You can also use a dumbbell or a large water jug to put some weight on your lower abs and hold it firm with your hands. Number 3. Step Up Step ups are a wonderful dynamic exercise that works your glutes while also giving you a nice cardiovascular workout. All you need is a platform that is slightly higher than your knees, somewhere around mid-thigh is ideal, but a lower platform, such as a chair, would suffice at first. You step on it with one foot, lift your body, and then raise the knee of your other leg as high as possible before gently stepping down. Holding tiny weights in your hands, or even a large water jug in front of you as you get stronger can make it a little more challenging. Number 2. Horse Stance The horse posture, also known as the horse riding stance, is a staple of various martial arts and a terrific way to bulk up the thighs and glutes. You begin by standing tall and widening your typical stance about a foot or two beyond shoulder width on both sides, then squatting as if you were going to seat back in a chair. The ground should be parallel to your thighs. You'll surely feel the heat, and you'll have to concentrate hard not to give up. Try to stay in this position as long as possible. Beginners should aim for 15 to 30 seconds at first, then gradually extend this time. Number 1. Deep Squats When doing squats with only your body weight, go as low as you can while maintaining your back straight, since this will ensure maximum glute activation. Depending on your build, your stance should be slightly broader than shoulder width or possibly a little wider, and you should drop yourself down while maintaining a neutral spine. Holding your palms together in front of your chest, which flares out the elbows, prevents your knees from collapsing and your upper back from rounding. When the activity becomes easy, progressively increase the effort by carrying weight in front of the chest or executing one-legged squats. These can help you gain strength quickly while also improving flexibility and general core power. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.